guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on social media or saw my update video when I was sick, you would know that I accidentally deleted the footage of me unboxing my Sephora Playbox for February before I transferred it from my SD card to my computer, thinking in my sick state, because I was so ill, that it was an old vape video. And this box was so good that I just had to refilm the video and show you guys what I got in my box. So sadly, I don't have the box and it's not like a real unboxing, more of like an unbagging because I still have the bag. But this is a super cute satin pink bag and it does say smitten on it. This is February's box contents and February's theme is the soft side, make radiant an understatement. Now I super was excited, like when I already opened it, I was so stoked for what is in here. So I'm going to show you what I got in my February box, then I'm going to talk about past products from January's box and what I thought of them and then let you know about anything new that I might have bought and when I filmed the video for this originally unboxing it I hadn't bought anything new to show you guys from Sephora in a month since my last Sephora play box video in January but since that video filming which has been a little over two weeks since I filmed the video I have gotten a new product so I'm excited to tell you guys about it anyways let me just dive right in and show you guys real quick this is gonna be like the quickest makeup video that I've done on my channel here are all the samples and you'll see why I just had to come back and show you guys so first one we have lash craft lash craft length and volume and this is a Sephora brand mask and it's a paddle wand which is weird to me and I guess I don't really understand how to use it but you can see it's flat and then it's thicker so it's like a little paddle wand and I have been using it I'm not using it today but um, I always feel like right when you use a new mascara it's amazing when you put it through the real test is when you've used it for a little while so that's when I can actually like judge a uh, mascara so like I said I opened these probably two weeks ago and I have been using them but I'm going to save my opinions really for March's uh, box and I know it is March now this video is a little late because I deleted the footage and I was sick so I couldn't really catch up in time but anyways next up we have origins ginseng and this is refreshing eye cream to brighten and deep puff so I'm all about that because I have pretty um, dark circles under my eyes when I don't wear makeup um, I don't usually really have puffy eyes but I do have these lines like down here so like if that can help with those lower lines I don't know if that's uh, like eye lines or like sleepless lines or stress lines or if it's just like natural to my face but I'm excited to try out that cream specifically for that. Next we have a nude lip by NARS. This is the color Bound. It's so pretty and I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's like this purpley nude and I really do like it. I mean I know I said I'd save my opinions for later but I mean I, I like it because I'm swatching it and it's pretty right? Okay. So here is that color if my camera wants to focus. I did kind of apply it heavily but like that's usually how I tend to apply my lipsticks is heavily. I'm not like into sheer or super nudey skin color colors because I like my lips to stand out because they are pretty small, I have a pretty small mouth so anything to help them stand out would be great which is why I am loving this next product. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. This is Juicy Color Plumping Lip Gloss. So I've never tried this kind of stuff, but you put it on your lips and it's tingly and it's supposed to plump up your lips, which Lord knows I need, like I would consider actually getting lip injections if I wasn't terrified of like <laughs> the, the botched lips. Like I would so get them, like I have such little lips and little mouth, like I, I, I get that all the time on my YouTube channel, like where was your upper lip? Like bitch, let me get lip injections and then we'll talk. No, I'm too scared, I, I don't think I would ever, plus you have to keep like going back and just no. Next I have Clinique's Pep Start. This is a hydrating moisturizer. You can use it on your face as a morning moisturizer, night moisturizer, or before you do your makeup. And so definitely stoked to talk about it. I, this is why I had to show what I got even though it was it's not a real unboxing anymore because I don't even have the box and I lost the original footage. Because I, this is like the first box where I am excited for every single product. 
And then the smelly of the month for February is Mark's, Mark Jacobs Decadence. And I can't remember if I like this smell or not. Probably because I'm not picky. Mmm, yeah. I do like it. But um, I'll have to tell you guys about... Oh no, I don't have it. Uh, January came with the best smelly ever. I already used the entire sample of it, but I actually didn't grab it. <laughs> I think I threw it away. Oops. So that was all of February's box, and I'm so excited to try all these out and come back and tell you guys, because like I said, the first box where I'm like, oh my god, for everything. Like, I cannot wait. So to talk about a few products in January's box that I got, first of all, let me tell you that I didn't use the hair treatment because I kept on forgetting you're supposed to use it before you take a shower and I I kept on forgetting because I'm so used to using hair treatments that you put in and go to bed with or you know just let it soak in so I keep forgetting to use it which was the we uh, hair treatment I believe that's how it's pronounced it's like oh you AI so I didn't use that next up we have these three products so I got the friction stick it's the Tarte friction stick and for somebody with sensitive skin like me this was not very skin friend skin sensitive skin friendly if that makes sense I know some people who do have sensitive skin who actually really like this but it's just too exfoliating for my cheeks like I could probably use it on my forehead and my chin but my cheeks are very very sensitive so this did not feel good it, it they were red afterwards I am probably gonna try again and maybe just like do less like give it a little bit of a you know cuz it's a I mean I people that have sensitive skin have told me it's great so I want to really try it and like not just be like oh one and done and not use it ever again but like ooh, ow like just think about it like ow it hurts so <laughs> don't know but that January box redeemed itself with the honey potion this is honey potion by pharmacy and it's a warming mask so it goes on I think I'm almost out of it too mm. It goes on like this creamy jelly yellow and then you rub it in and it turns white and it's warming and I only ever put stuff like this like for hydration because it is a renewing antioxidant hydration mask. I only ever put that stuff on my cheeks because I'm only dry there. I am super oily here and super oily here. Excuse me, my nose is dripping. And so I don't put that anywhere else but on my cheeks and I love, love, love this stuff. I use it probably every two to three days because I think it says um, to use it two to three times a week so I don't use it every day. I never really use any hydration stuff every day. I don't use chemicals on my face every day, not even makeup, like I just don't. I most of the time don't put anything on my skin but hydration on my cheeks is kind of like key for me like I really want to because they can get re really dry especially right in this top cheek area I don't know why that's just how my face goes and if you saw January's video then you saw that I was like what in the hell like I was like excited about the color when I saw it on the stick and then I swatched it on my hand and I was like oh my god that's sheer as fuck excuse my language but I actually tried it on my lips and I really do like it. I like it a lot more than I thought. This is the Clinique and I think it's called Black Honey. Or Black as Honey or... Is it on the bottom? Ooh, Black Honey. It's on the bottom. It's in this really small writing. But um, I actually really did like it. It kind of darkened my natural lip color and brought it out. So it did look like I was wearing a, like a darker lip. But it wasn't caked on, you know, like you know like my liquid lip I got on now so I really actually did end up liking this even though my first impression of it was like this is bogus so anyways I know I'm like rapid fire through this video but I'm like it's the end of the day I've already done I've already said all of this about these products because I've already filmed it but I just I couldn't leave you guys hanging when February's box was so good. So on to new products. This actually I didn't bring up in February's video because I didn't have it, but I ran out of my Anastasia Brow Wiz brow pencil. And so I got this goof proof brow pencil because I'm on the hunt to find like the best combination for my brows because that's like currently what I'm still trying to perfect. And I did use this brow to do these brows today, but like let's not analyze them too much because brows are sisters not twins and so on one end it has this slanted brow tip which is perfect to go straight over and then you tilt and you do the tail 
and I love it. It does make that pretty easy. And then one side is a little uh, spoolie wand, and this is by Benefit, if I didn't say so. So this is the Goof Proof, let me focus, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And where I do like it, because it's a lot quicker than my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, I, like I'm torn because this is quicker and it just like ching ching, you know, it's, it's a lot quicker to fill in my brows and, but I'm so anal about like precision and making them look perfect that the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil was a very tiny little tip of a pencil so I could, you know, make my, ed like everything was very precise, you know, whereas here I definitely have to use concealer to clean up spots and go, um, Carefully instead of just like with the brow wiz pencil. I was like shing 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 shing, you know Like super easy because it was just like little lines and then fill in but this is quicker So if that makes sense, so the Anastasia brow wiz pencil was more precise and clean This is quicker. Um, I don't know Yet because I'm gonna have to use this all the way until it's gone to know which one I like better But even still I think I might try something else if there's anyone in the comments below want to suggest I heard the best thing for brows is brow powder like a brow pencil to outline and then brow powder to fill in but I don't know like I'm new and like I don't think my brows look too bad using just a brow pencil but I would love to hear from you guys what you think about brow stuff because that is currently what I'm on the hunt for is brow stuff and I think I've been on the hunt for brow stuff for like months because if you look at my old YouTube videos I didn't even know that coloring in your eyebrows was a thing so my eyebrows were as blonde as my hair and like you couldn't even see them and people were like did you shave off your eyebrows I'm like no they're just blonde so I mean they're a little bit darker they're actually more like this color but they still are thin and so they don't really show up that good in camera back in the day but anyways um I know I rapid fired through this video and I hope like I didn't blow your mind with like all the, all the talking that I did <laughs> I know I talked fast but like I wanted to get this video in and done and I'm hungry and my husband's gonna be home soon and I just thought this box is amazing and I've already used all of the products that I just showed you but I want to wait until the next video because that's kind of how I do things to tell you what I think about them plus I've only been using them for a couple days so it's like I need a real opinion so Tia calm down but it's just a great box best box so far was February's box and I'm excited because now it's already March so I'm gonna have a March box and it'll I definitely hope I'm not gonna be sick again like I have been sick every single month like once every single month like in December I think I was sick for like three days and then January I was sick for like a week and in February, which was last month, um, I was sick for 48 hours, really like just dead sick. Like what, wait, where was I sickest? Mm, I think I was sickest in December, maybe January, but the winter is so bad for me. Like I get sick all the time and the weather has been snow, then sun, then snow, then sun, sun, snow, snow, sun. So like the weather is fucking up my shit and I don't get enough vitamins and all that. So, but anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this rapid fire makeup video. Again, leave me comments down below if you have the Sephora Play Box. I wanna know what you got in your February box and like what you think about the products because I think most people get like around the same sort of products. Like you can customize like what you want, like what you need, like if you need hair stuff for dry hair or hair stuff for oily hair, but um, let me know. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for makeup. Check the description box below. I'll leave a link to Sephora Play if you want to check it out for yourself. And that's it. I usually do a vape outro, but this isn't a vape video. So I will see you guys next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that little bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. If you want to talk to me at any time of day, I reply mostly on Twitter and Snapchat. So don't forget to follow me over there and Instagram and Facebook. Those social media links will be below as well. Uh, until next time, bye guys.